right guys welcome back welcome back to my youtube life and channel and things of that nature y'all gonna see you know how it is at the house i put clothes on so i can record any other time <laughs> drea what clothes i'm not a fan to be quite honest i'm not a fan it is what it is it's my house Y'all don't walk around naked in y'all's? Mm. We have different lives, I guess. Mm. So I decided that I am going to, if you're not following me on Instagram, first of all, why not? What are you doing? Go on, I'll, pause this video. Pause this video and go on over to Instagram and go ahead and uh, follow me there. I'm over there more than anything. Um, if you want to interact with me and see the shenanigans that I talk about throughout the week, definitely join the crew. I forgot why I started talking about that. <laughs> oh, so on Instagram, a while ago, I shared one of my favorite pad thai like homemade not homemade but make at home pad thai um brands and it's not an american brand um it is so good so just oh my god but the one that i got the last time and because the packaging is in a different language um i i don't know if this is the super extra spicy one, or if it's the, just the spicy one. But when I first tried these, I just had the uh, mild. And when I tell you, oh, buddy, them things, excellent. So all I'm doing right now is I'm peeling and uh, gonna clean my shrimp because I'm going to add shrimp to this one. So, okay, I said all that to say, the one that is bomb that I was talking about just now, I get off of Amazon. And nine times out of 10, they're always going to be sold out. Like this, this um, particular brand is $24, first of all. Let's be clear, you're not paying for oodles and noodles price. You're not paying oodles and noodles prices for this. Um, it's either $24 or $22, something like that. But you get two packs in there. So each pack is about 10, 11 bucks. Um, and it has my heart, man. It has my heart because it's just like the heat, you need lime. You need a lot of lime. So before you uh, sit down and eat, Make sure you go ahead and cut up some fresh lime to squeeze over it because the lime it offsets some of that heat and it um it doesn't it doesn't make it such a it's still spicy but it it, it just takes away some of that bite that the heat has. But it is so good. You you boil your noodles and they don't take long to cook at all and they're good to go into your sauce. And a sauce, it comes in a pack. It has oil and all that stuff in it. What am I doing? I'll use this for the other shrimp. Um, yeah. Y'all want an update? I have no update to, to give, actually, if, if we if we keeping it a buck. I don't have an update to give. Um, because nothing has been coming through, child. Drea needs a job. Drea... Well, let's, 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 let's reframe that. Drea, <laughs> Drea needs some consistent money. Oh, she got money. That's what I need. I need consistent money coming in. Anything else? No, no thanks. Well, yeah, it'll be appreciated. So yes, thank you. But if it ain't consistent, if it's not consistent, it's not what I'm asking for. I am asking for consistency in all facets of my life, you feel me? Not just work, 
but consistency in friends, consistencies, consistency in my relationships. I want consistency all across the board because that helps me be, I think anyway, that helps me be the best version of myself, you know, because I'm organized, I'm able to have my, I'm able to organize my thoughts. Everything's just, it's easier for me when stuff is organized like that. So what I'm doing, after you clean the shrimp, y'all, y'all bet not be buying no cooked shrimp. If the shrimp is already pink and it specifies cooked on the bag, baby, put that shrimp back in the freezer section. Do not, unless you make a shrimp cocktail, you bet don't you buy no cooked shrimp that's in the freezer section. You, again, unless you are cooking shrimp cocktail, I don't want to hear about y'all buying frozen cooked shrimp. I don't want to hear it. That, I don't want to hear it. Okay, so let me get the noodles. Okay, back to the story, shit. I done got sidetracked so many times. So, because the brand that I suggested to everybody on Instagram when I was talking about my pad thai, it's always sold out, always, always. So when I do, when I can catch it when they restock, um, I just grab two, two, uh, two packs. But, you know, if you could get that, they're just always out. So, anyway, but it's worth it. That $22 that you about to spend, <laughs> it's worth it. To me, it's worth it. So, anyway, because I, because I need an alternative to that, I don't always want to, you know, spend that type of money for, uh, two pad thai style oodles and noodles. If we gonna keep it a buck, you know what I mean? So, I was like, it might be fun to try to find an alternative that I can share with y'all too, just in case if you do go to my Amazon store and look for those, um, my favorite pad tie and they're sold out, at least this hopefully might be an alternative. I don't have all the ingredients that I want to have. I want bean sprouts. So when you make this, you should have some bean sprouts, some green onions, scallions, whatever you call them, um, and some sesame seeds and some fresh lime. Okay? So I'm gonna try what watcheries, watcheries, pad thai sauce so pretty much it doesn't give you does it give you directions no all these are kind of the same way where you're going oh this is watery um where you're going to pour the sauce into a pan cook it down a little bit let it thicken up um and what i do if i am adding a protein to my uh pad thai what i'll do is i'll cook the protein in the pad thai sauce and a little bit of the pad thai sauce so it infuses the flavor in the protein so that's what i'm going to do with the shrimp here so i'm going to pour a little bit of the pad thai sauce inside of a pan and i'm gonna cook the shrimp in that and then take it off right before it gets you know like a hundred percent done we'll, we'll take it off the pan when it's about 95 percent done and then the residual heat will, you know, bring it to temp.
taste test, the official taste test. So I'm gonna put lime, squeeze the lime on there. I don't know y'all, it smells really good. I can't, I can't even lie. It smells really good. And I am a lime junkie when it comes to my pad thai. Like I like that. I like that offset of the tart and the the sweetness, the heat. It's it all works. It all works. Mm. Tamron is sweet. I don't know. That shrimp by itself is hitting though. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. It's it's not. I guess I was expecting my fave or something close to my fave. You know what I mean? Like. It's cool, but it's not touching. It's not touching that other one. This is this is the final verdict. Get this if and only if you do not have an already bomb recipe of your own and you just want something quick in a jar. Oh, I feel the heat coming up. Okay. <laughs> Um, that one was a slow burn, I feel. Okay. Now we getting sexy. I feel the heat. It's not too much though. I'm not a big hot stuff girl. I don't like heat, but it's subtle. So it, it, it does lean more on the sweeter side. It's not overly sweet like a dessert, of course, but it is leaning on the sweet side. I think it'll be good in a pinch. If you have people coming over, you want to make something quick and you know not your ordinary then this might help you out but so far i can't find anything that's topping my 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 ogs if it sold out by the time y'all click it hmm, this will do because i want y'all to have quick and easy stuff but not the typical, you know, the typical quick and easy stuff. You know what I mean? Like, let's take it up. You can take it up one level if you want. It's cool. Even if it's just for yourself. I want y'all to get in the habit of cooking good meals for yourself. Like, and I'm also talking to myself because you let a box of cereal be here. Guess what Andre ate eating for a whole week? <laughs> and what about it? Like, please so I get it but I want y'all to also be in the habit of not looking at cooking as a chore so if I can help with easy meals like this that are actually good and that you wouldn't mind sharing with other people <laughs> why not let me at least help y'all with that I'm gonna eat my food so I'll see y'all next scene or if this is at the end of the vlog i'll see you next vlog we gonna see hi you guys <sighs> another day we back in the kitchen i realize i um i tend to turn my camera on while i'm in the kitchen cooking or doing dishes because why not? Same reason why I be shooting at the house all the time. This is downtime. I'm not working right now. So while I'm not on my laptop, let's get some actual work done. So I got my workout done earlier. How y'all been? Y'all been all right? You been all right? Shout out to the VIP from the last video who guessed Vitamin to Vegemin. <laughs> I'm proud of you because not too many people be like, I don't want to say be on Lucy, but because it's a lot of people that love Lucy like I do, but um, 
you know, I just love Lucy down. And a lot of the references that I make, people just be sitting there like, what? I'm like, you don't get this life. Never mind. Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> Never mind. But anyway, um, yeah, congratulations. You are the VIP of the week. I'm going to drop another gem because I can't stop making reference to uh, <laughs> old movies and TV shows and shit. See if y'all catch it. Actually, I don't even be doing it on purpose. It's just... You know how you, you be quoting, it's like how people be quoting Friday all the time. It's just ingrained in their, their everyday vernacular at this point. Like, we just talk like the movie. It is what it is. Um, so, I've decided to take a, um, not a hiatus because I'm still uploading on all of my uh, social media, I'm still uploading content, I should say. Um, either it was already shot or I'm just shooting it real quick just to empty out my drafts folder. Um, but I've come to, I've come to not a brick wall that's dramatic, <laughs> but I've just come to a, a place and also let let's let me I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that this month is forever hard for me because it's the month that my friend was murdered and you know all that stuff um if you were OG OG you know I did a video about that like what 2008 2009 <laughs> but um yeah it's just it's just always hard for me and it it's like as many years that have passed like it's it's crazy how um it's it's like um just anything that i was about to make a reference that didn't make sense if y'all didn't know who people was but it's like um seeing seeing different things trigger me around this time of year i'm just i'm, I'm super sensitive because you know pms is 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 um uh, also messing with me but um i think people always talk about how you know the passing of a loved one it gets easier as time you know moves on and true it doesn't get easy but it gets a little more bearable um you're able to do regular things without breaking down every five seconds. You're able to, you know, watch certain things or hear certain songs without breaking down every five seconds. And it's just not as fresh as it was when it first happens, you know? Even talking about it, I just, I get, it fucks me up, which is why I don't talk about it. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get through it. It's like, it's just hard. It's a hard month for me. Um, and I try to I try to fight against it by keeping busy. I try to just because I, I, I don't want to relive that feeling, if that makes any sense. I just I hate reliving the feeling. I hate I hate thinking about it because there's nothing that I can do that's, that can bring her back, you know? So, it just sucks, it sucks. I feel like I've hit a brick wall as far as, maybe we'll call it burnout. I think I've burnt myself out trying to um, just do a lot in a short span of time. And while you're doing it by yourself, this shit is hard. It really is hard. If you don't have, I look at I look at a lot of the um, creators that have, you know, either they hire people or they have friends that are professional cameramen or photographers. And I'm like, that's why your content always looks so polished and dope. I love that shit. Like they have professional people taking their pictures and you know shooting for them. And I'm like, I love that. If I can get to that level. I won't say if, when I get to that level, you'll see a dramatic difference in the 
content that I'm shooting, I'm sure. But for now, I'm doing everything myself, plus trying to uh, trying to find a job. I don't know if y'all know, but humans are horrible, and they've gotten worse <laughs> as the time goes on. Um, I think people are just really unhinged right now battling their own mental shit, battling their own shit going on in their lives. So I get it, but I just choose not to be a part of that portion of the workforce. Um, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to put in applications and all that stuff. Um, you know, the same old, same old. It's hot in here if you see me still sweating, so. Um, but yeah, like I've been putting in applications every day. Y'all, I feel like maybe I've spoken about this on my podcast. I don't know, but I've spoken about it publicly before where um, if I'm looking for a job, a new job, I make it my full-time job. The search becomes my full-time job. So literally all day, like I've, I've eased up on trying to create um, content because I'm on my laptop. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing anything of importance really that you guys might even be interested in to see. At least that's what I think anyway. And truth be told, it ain't even what I think. I know y'all ain't gonna be interested in watching me just scroll on my laptop and filling out applications, child. It's, that's not worthy content. That's not, that's not content that I would, that I would tune into. And I know you, you shouldn't um, do things with that mindset, like shoot shit that your viewers and supporters want to see, not what you want to see. And that goes for a lot of business as well. If you have a business, let's say you have a clothing line. If you have a clothing line, don't stock the shit with just stuff that you would wear or that you like, especially if you can't dress. Ciao go against the grain and go with the trends if you are running your own clothing boutique child go against the grain go against your 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 normal your normal urge to buy that uh that set of uh lime green palazzo pants for your boutique baby because that's that was your jam back in the 90s like Stick with the trendy items, you'll go farther. Shit that you don't wear, you'll go farther. But that's that's just what I feel like. I just feel like even though um, it's just been a struggle. That's it. I mean, to put a pin in that or to put a bow on that, whatever people say, it's just been a struggle for me because it's been a struggle for me because like I'm trying everything that I can, but I'm not yielding the results that I'd like. And as a Virgo, you wanna know something that pisses me off <laughs> more than anything? That when I'm doing all that I can and I'm still not yielding the results that I want, oh, <laughs> it's killing, it is killing me. In the interim, I am still living my life, I'm still, trying to have some kind of normalcy here. This is not a normal situation. I do not feel normal. I feel, I feel like, excuse me y'all. Um, everything has just been irritating me. Everybody has been irritating me. Like little things or what other people might view as little things, but they're big to me. Like, let me tell you what, what, what's been going on lately. Did I mention this in the other video? Probably, I don't care, we gonna mention it twice. What pisses me off is if I text you and you don't respond. Like, you read it, but you don't respond. Or you'll, you'll, you'll text the next day as if what I said never happened. And I'm like, where the fuck, how, how were y'all raised? Someone is speaking to you. How were you raised? That will always, like, I have to talk myself, <laughs> I have to talk myself off the ledge of block, 
block city and delete city every single time that happens because I'm like, because it's not like the people that do it, everybody knows how I feel about this, but especially the people that text me, like you have my personal number, they know how I feel about that, yet it continues to happen every single time and I'm like, what I want to do is be on some, oh, we're going we gonna to match behaviors. We're going to match energy with this. And I, I'm not going to, you know, respond to them and do all this tit for tat shit. But I'm not, I'm not like that. So it always leaves me on the, on the short end of the stick. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't want to be petty. And I don't want to do the, oh, you're not responding to me. I ain't going to respond to you. I don't want to do that. But it's like, how many times can I say, if I see, if I respond, especially if I'm responding back to you, what the fuck are you even texting me for? Leave me alone, leave me, <laughs> leave me alone. This week I have just, I'm, I'm, I've had it, bro. Like I, I am, just, I'm tired. These people consistently every other week every three weeks every other month every month it's hey what you up to what you been up to hey how you been leave me alone because what it what what's the end game here if i if i be honest and i say how i'm really feeling all you're going to say is damn hope it gets better what the fuck what the fuck are we even doing leave me alone <laughs> god damn because essentially what you're doing is, it's like if we dated before, if we were romantic before, in a relationship before, whatever, it's over. You decided to walk away and do whatever you wanted to do, right? Stay over there. It didn't work out. Grass wasn't greener like I fucking thought it was. Let me come back to Andrea. Fuck out of here. My feelings were dead the moment that you decided to walk away. So what are you back in my face for? What are you trying to keep communication for? It's been so many people that I just, I'm, I, I was hoping that me not responding, and, and don't get me wrong, some of these people have gotten a hint because I, I just stopped responding at this point. But you have these people that are persistent that continue to try to get in and try to engage and I'm not here for it. I don't care. I don't care what you've been up to, which is why I don't reach out to you. Go off and, and be merry. Do you. I'm not for you. So go. <laughs> that sounds petty, but that's how I be feeling. Like, y'all so quick to go off and, and be up in other women's face. Ask them. You feel me? Ask them how to do X, Y, Z. Don't come back over here. You're not about to use me for my resources and use me for the knowledge that I have just because, oh, buddy don't have it. Either that or use Google. But the Drea portion of the program, psh, she's cut off and she's out of here. You got to leave me out of it. Learn how to walk away from people when shit is not, when shit is not working or if shit is over between the two of you, walk away. Let the record show, super manipulative. I'm, I put it this way, you wanna find out how if somebody's breadcrumbing you, somebody that you used to deal with is breadcrumbing you, here's what you ask. Outside of the normal, what's the end game here? What's the goal? Why are you still communicating with me? And if they try to hit you with that, cause we friends, cause you my friend, hit them with this question. <laughs> Once you get a girlfriend, we still friends? We still cool? You gonna bring me around? We all gonna kick it, the three of us? If the answer is no, you are not my friend. We are not homies like that. We're not, don't, don't call me your friend because I'm not your friend. Second thing, if you get married, am I invited to the wedding? If the answer is no, nah, why would you be invited to the wedding? Baby, you're not my friend. We're not friends. So again, that brings me to the first question. What is the end game here? What's the goal? Why are you, why are you still trying to maintain this line of communication with me? Plain and simple. Why? Give me a good fucking reason why. If we're not friends like that, then you're just using me to pass the time. I don't want to be used. Now what? That brings us back. It'll, it'll keep bringing us back around to square one. What's the end game here? What's, what's the goal? Are you trying to maintain this, this communication, this, this 
line of I'm we still cool we still familiar because you think that's going to possibly lead to sex one day I gotta let me let me stop you right there um that's not going to happen plain and simple like that's that's not that's not that's not going to happen so again coming back around to square one it's it's like one of those um those pictures that you have to pick a choice and then it takes you to another arrow and you have to pick out of here and it takes you down. Everything keeps coming back around to this initial first point. What's the end game? Why are you trying to maintain communication with me? And it's, I think it's like, you know, accountability. Anytime folks are held accountable, it seems like an attack when they don't want, they don't want to hold themselves accountable. So you try to hold them accountable. It seems like you attacking them. So instantly they're going to get on a defense. They're going to start the gaslighting. They're going to start all that other shit. If that's where they go instantly, it's like confirmation upon confirmation upon confirmation on why we need to just stop talking. You're not my friend. We cool. I can be court. I'm cordial with a bevy of people. Like, I'm cool with everybody. You're not my friends. But if I see you out, of course I'm going to speak. If you have a project online, of course I'm going to support you. That's not like, that's, that doesn't take energy from me. That doesn't take nothing but two seconds. So, of course, if we were cool at one point, but we just don't talk anymore like that, but I still... Like, I don't have any ill will towards you. Of course, I'm going to support you. That's, that's, that's just, that's how I am. But if we were romantic, if we were dating, that's different. Well, it's different as far as communication. I, I keep going back to the same. Don't, if we're not, if we're no longer dating, if you've decided to go take your talents over to the West side, right? <laughs> if we're no longer in that capacity with one another, Stay there, maintain communication, build new friends, blah, 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 blah. If I see you out, of course I'm going to speak. If I see you online, I'll like your post. I'll try to support however I can. But as far as a personal communication between the two of us, texting and calling, no, nah, for what? Breadcrumbing is not exclusive to people you used to date. I promise you, friends breadcrumb you too. Like, I don't, don't feed me just a little bit just to keep me around and keep me in your corner when you don't fuck with me like that. I don't, ugh. I don't know, I said this the other day. I hate being triggered by people that I, that I care about. I really do. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just irritated, y'all.